Hello and welcome to PC Site. I'm John Hillman. Um, today we're going to be taking a look at the best of British with uh, Serif's very own Photo Plus X3 image editing software. Um, now, the word on the PR grapevine is that there's probably a new version of this on the way, but we think that at the moment, for under £60, this is represents really great value and it ticks a lot of very essential boxes. So, um, let's go and take a closer look. Okay, so here's what you see when you open up Photo Plus 3 for the first time. Uh, let's start by getting an image to work on. Uh, just click on the image browser and let's select this holiday snap here. Here we are. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you is how to adjust the lighting. And we can do this by going up here and selecting the curves feature. Now, um, curves change the lighting in an image. It helps to make the most of any bad lighting in a photo you might have. Um, so as you can see, I'm uh, adjusting this line and making a few subtle changes uh, to the photo. Let's just do that and click OK and let's move on. Right now I'm going to show you the blemish tool. OK, this allows you to remove unwanted objects in a photo. So I've selected that and now I'm just going to rub out this palm tree leaf um, just here uh, for no particular reason other than to show you how it works. Um, there you go, it's um, being completely removed. Uh, I think that's a pretty cool feature actually. Um, there you go. Uh, now let's go along to the Instant Artist feature and show you that. As you can see my arrows there, you make your choice here. Um, and these give your photos a kind of different painted look as you can see. Um, can be a lot of fun, um, you know, make your selection, see which one looks best. Um, let's have a look, uh, there's this watercolored one. Yeah, that's quite nice. Um, or we can go for a pencil effect. Let's try that. Click OK when you've uh, decided which one you want. And there you go. And um, right. And there we have it. That's now a pencil effect. Um, once you're happy with your image, uh, now you can crop it and cut the image down. You just hit this button here, like so. And um, highlight the area you wish to keep. Um, I'll do a demonstration here. There you go, you could uh, just have that bit or um, expand the size of the box. There you go. Um, could make it a bit wider, I suppose. Should we do that? And yeah, there you go. Now I'm happy with that, so I am now selecting the green tick. There you go. Okay, uh, last off, I'm going to add a bit of text just to show you how that works. I select my font. Um, click there, uh, up, up the top there you can see um, we can uh, select a font size um, and I'm also going to change the colour of the text I think as well just to um, give it a bit of pink there, why not, okay um, and there you go, um, write whatever you like, whatever you wish to do um, I'm going to write wish you were here uh, which is the uh, standard cliched thing to write on anything to do with holidays I suppose and I'm going to, once I've done that, use this tool here just to um, position it uh, as to how I like. Now this is really easy to use software, it um, comes with 25 tutorials to get you started and uh, it has a really small requirement, just 128 megabytes of RAM, 328 megabytes of hard disk space. So you can install this and use it with a netbook or small PC, it's really good affordable software and we're really happy to recommend it. Thanks for watching.